3D Studio Max has three systems that are useful for rigging and animation. Each system has special properties. There is biped, bone, and cadric. Biped system is a two-legged figure and it's designed for animation. Biped skeleton has special properties that make it instantly ready to animate. Bone system is joined hierarchically linkage of bones object that can be used to animate object or hierarchy. Cat rig its character animation toolkit and it's a plugin for 3D Studio Mac. The cat rig is the hierarchy that defines cat skeletal animation system and it has many pre-built options so you can create any kind of animal or creature. To create biped, you need to go to create panel, system, biped. Click and drag. As you're creating new biped, you have options to make adjustment to the biped at the same time. Now, as it is, biped is ready to animate, but if you want, you can make adjustment. Now, to make adjustment, after you create biped, you need to go to motion panel and click figure mode. In figure mode, the option did change and you have structure and copy and paste. So let's talk about structure first. You basically make, can make changes to the structure of the biped. For example, right now biped has one finger with one link. So you can add fingers. So let's add five fingers and maybe three links. Okay. And you can do the same thing with the feet. So let's say our biped is wearing shoes, so we don't need three links. So let's change to one link. Also, you can make changes to the body type. So right now we have skeleton, you can change to male, female. And classic. The other things that you can make is to add some parts. So, for example, let's say your character have a, some kinds of tail. So you can add tail. Or you can add ponytail. Let's say your character has um, long hair or maybe horns or some ears. So you can use ponytails. And you have a two of them, and you can move them. And let's add the second one. Okay, and you can move them around. And you can change the amount of the links. So let's say I have a one link, and I can move them to any position. Let's say my character have a big ears, and let's say I wanna this ponytail in the same position but on opposite side. Now I can use copy and paste option. So first you create new collection and you can copy posture or pose. We go with posture. So okay, copy, select the other one and paste opposite. Also I can scale parts. So let's say we make this toe larger and we want exactly the same toe on opposite side. So again we copy select and paste opposite also you can make other changes for example let's say you want to reshape some body parts for some reason let's say i want to change the shape of the head i can go to modify option and i can apply edit poly modifier and i can change shape and model the top of the head to my liking I don't know, maybe for some reason you need to adjust the shape. And when you finish, remember 
to collapse modifier because otherwise when you move this to uh, Unity or any gaming engine, this stick will show up as a regular mesh. So right click, collapse to yes. So you can also rotate. You can rotate body parts. If you're making some kinds of custom rig and you want to save this specific design. So you click save file and save as the fig. So when you finished making changes, you turn off the figure mode. So let's create one more. Next biped and let's say I want to apply exact the same setup. So I click to the motion panel, figure mode and I'll load the file. It's exactly in the same position as well. So let's move it and voila. The only thing that will not change is the mesh structure. So that's biped. So next sentence we'll talk about are bones. And as I mentioned before, bone system is chain of bones. So in order to create uh, any type of skeleton for animation, you need to understand uh, basic anatomy or understand how your character or object will move. I'll use biped as my reference. So here's the example. So let's start with the center of the body. That includes spine, neck and the head. I'll use four spine bones and one bone for the neck and one for the head. So total of six. If you want to make your character more flexible, add more spine bones. So I prepared a biped that I created previously. I make translucent and right click it and freeze so it doesn't move. So I use this as my reference for creating bones. To create the bones you go to create option you click on the system and bones. It's just above the biped. Click bones and start drawing. So click one, two, three, four, max five, and the head will be six ones. So we have our spine ready and it's great idea to name your bones okay so click on the modify option and call this spine so i call the spine i'll copy go to next one call the spine one spine two and spine three and next bone it's an, represents the neck and the last one is head. So next is the leg. So we need pelvis, thigh, calf, foot, and basically toe. Okay, so two bones for the foot. Okay, so let's start with front view. Again, create bones. So I start somewhere from the middle. One, two, three, and click here and I can delete it, the last one let's say I want to edit to edit the bone I go to animation panel click bone tools and you can click bone edit mode I want to scale this bone so I want to move this bone so there is my leg, one of my legs. And I'm not creating the second one because I will duplicate it later. So again, create system bonds. And let's do the arm now and the fingers. So click. And that's the hand. And again, I can make adjustments. I don't need the last one. I go to side view. And let's do the fingers. And now I can duplicate them by hitting the shift.
Okay, and make adjustments. Okay, so I have uh, one half the character ready. Now, before I start doing anything, okay, so let's remove this. Again, remove the edit bones, grab it, the whole thing, and let's move it to the middle so you can see better. Okay, so here is our basic structure. Now we need to link it a bit, so before I do that, I make some changes, so just the structure a bit. Okay, so let's start linking. So first thing, we need to think how you link. So this should be linked to the spine, okay, and the spine should be linked to the hip area okay so let's start with the fingers okay so start linking select the first one okay you can turn off the edit mode click link drag select link Next, we need to link the arm to the third spine. So click link button and click and link it. One more thing. So we should link the spine, okay, the first spine bone into our hip. So again, click link, click, and voila done. So let's check if everything works the way it should. So let's grab the spine and rotate. Okay, everything follows. Remember to check the neck, the arm, and the leg. So we have a half done. Now we need to duplicate and mirror. Select all the bones that you want to duplicate. Go to bone edit. And click mirror and now you need to play with the numbers we duplicate it click OK again do the same thing with the leg so let's check and see if everything works and if still linked okay everything seems to be fine so that's basic bone structure to make our animation easy we can add IK solvers. To add the IK solver, so go to animation, IK solver, choose the limb solver and click CAF. One more time, animation, and I use limb solver. Okay, and again, let's do the arm. Animation, IK solver, limb. And, and one more. And done. I can close edit bonds and see how the solver works. And now I can start animating this. The final system that I want to mention is cut trick. To find the cut trick, you need to go to create panel, but this time go to helpers, pull down menu, cut object, cut parent. And right here you can load existing rigs. There's one that looks exactly like a biped. And there's some other ones. So for example, if you have a horse, Or let's choose some 
other ones like a spider but right now they are in the edit mode so you can make changes okay so they different from biped because in biped you need to click the figure mode in order to make adjustment but with the cut rig when you create them they are already in edit mode and to animate them you need to use layers so let's see how they work so i will use like a really simple motion layer okay i need to turn on the layer in order to work and i can play the animation those rigs are very useful for gaming when you want to create really quick animation for your game so let's add some animation and remember this is very simple walk it's a human walk so you will not look right on animals and i will talk about animation with catrick later so let's play again that's basic catrick now you can create your own custom cut rig. Create helpers, cut objects, cut parent, but this time choose none. Okay, so that's your base. Now go to modify panel and create pelvis. So you need to start with the pelvis. Select the pelvis and now you can add things to the pelvis. So let's say let's add the leg Let's add second leg. I can add torso to create torso. I need to use spine And now to the last bone of the spine. I want to add arm another arm so let's say I want to add the head and for the head I use spine again Okay, so I have my spine, the neck, maybe I don't want so many bones here, I click one of the bones now and I can change to one bone. And here is my custom 